Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer. You probably know that by now. This is a very rough and ready video um, because I'm currently away with the lovely Julia and we're going to discover where they are in this rather remarkable place. And we've had a bit of a drive to get here and it's been a long day and rather than sit and edit and spend an hour and a half and then try and upload and, and all of that and have the stress um, to get the video that I recorded <coughs> throughout the day of our trip. Um, I'm going to edit those when I get back from the whole trip. We should be back on Wednesday, so possibly Thursday or, or Friday we'll start reeling out the videos that we have done. Um, <coughs> we do have internet where we are tonight, but there is uh, poor or no internet where we're staying for two nights, which will be Monday night and Tuesday night. So it's Sunday night as I record this and we're in um, a lovely place which is in Shropshire, just outside Oswestry. And there are these fantastic little ducks, which I'm going to see if I can just show you. These rather lovely little um, ducks which are behind me, they're just feeding at the moment. But um, I thought I'd just quickly come down and see if we can spot them. There's five of them, and I think they're called call ducks or something. Can't remember what the chap said now. Now, I don't know whether I can flip this round and do any different. So um, I'm going to just see if I can not get too far away from them and see if we can see them feeding. This is all on my hand. Anyway, there we go. We've had some amazing weather today. Absolutely fantastic weather. Great blue skies. But the journey has been really long and tedious. Now, I used to do the journey up to Shropshire when I used to see my friend Harriet. And it takes three and a half hours door to door from Worthing if I leave at six o'clock on a Saturday morning. But we've got little Joe with us, so um, we wanted to stop and he wanted to get out, obviously. You can't keep a baby strapped down in a car seat for too long. So we, um, we stopped a couple of times. We also met up with um, one of our viewers, Adrian from YouTube, who's also known as TurboStream. Anyway, here we are in this rather magnificent place and we did a little quick video yesterday, uh, sorry, when we arrived. But we'll go in and see if we can find the lovely Julia and the lovely Joseph and here they are. Hello. Say hi. So, Joe, do you say hi? You're going to say hi, Joe? Can you see yourself? I you think you probably can. So we may be reversed because we're filming on one of those um, mobile phones. <laughs> that, What's the thing called? Oh, yeah, mobile, oh, phone. mobile phone. Now I'm just going to see um, if I can. Hang on, I want to find something to rest the phone oh. at so that we can we can chat to you. I just want to keep this in one shot so there's no editing or what have you. And so please excuse the the rough nature of this of this video. But you know where where I possibly can get one out. I will. <laughs> she turns round. So, long old drive. Um, and when we left, or we, I left and picked up Julia from Lansing. We all got off on time. That was great. We got just outside of Brighton on the, M Shh. On the M23. No, not even onto the M20, on the A23. And at Hickstead, they had decided to block off the, the traffic and we were all taken on a little diversion. Well, that in, a, in, and, of it, that in and of itself is um, okay, but there were so many, so many cars, wasn't there? Just so many cars and the tailback, it took us an hour to get from where we were, the tailback, to Hickstead, round the little roundabout, and then about half a mile on, and then rejoin the carriage. 
It was just um, a bit of grim. And so we did that. We was, got back on. It was just a shame because it was so near the beginning. We barely got an out of Brighton. And I got stressed. Well, we hadn't got an out of Brighton. Yes, yes. I was a bit stressed because just wanted, you know when you leave and you think, I just want to put some distance in? And then we were hoping to meet up with Adrian, as I said at the beginning, um, which we did meet him. And you'll see in the video when it's finally edited. But we were hoping to go on a walk with him, just a short walk for about half an hour. And it would have made a perfect break, get away from the fumes of the motorway and all of the traffic and everything. But because we were then an hour behind, um, and then the M25 was busy, and then we stopped off at the Cherwell Valley service station. Yeah, we had to let someone have a run around, didn't we? Yeah, he needed a run around. But I have to say, Joe is a brilliant traveller. He, he really um, is no fuss. Provided you give him the space. Um, and then eventually, because the other thing we realised, of course, is as we were heading up here, trying to get here for about four o'clock, thinking, oh, we'll just pop into a little shop and get some supplies, milk, dairy stuff. Um, that was wriggled room only, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. So at the last minute, we thought, oh, everywhere's going to be shut because it's Sunday. So I thought, I know... <laughs> I know a place in Shrewsbury that we were literally swinging past and um, there we go look um, so I'm on my bended knees for this uh, I'm not actually a dwarf I know a place in there little Sainsbury's which is up near the column in Shrewsbury so we dived into Shrewsbury went in there and as you say my god it was, never mind Covid, uh, it was like the black hole of Calcutta. There were so many people in there. And anyway, got some, we're going to have um, chicken korma tonight. Um, so I got some chicken and we got some bits and bobs and uh, all of that. Sorry, I'm poking at my eye because um, it's, it's because it's night time now. It's quarter past seven as I record this. My eye starts to shut up for the night, the dodgy eye. Um, anyway, we got here. The main thing is we got here and it's palatial. It's lovely. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, so we did a, did we do, we did a quick look round, didn't we? In yes. the other, in the other show. Yeah, we put a little video on earlier when we arrived, so I won't bother to do that again. We're going to start cooking our food now. So really, we just want to give you a little, uh, at least there's a video in the morning, but this might be the only one. If we can get another one or we can do a live on the boat tomorrow, we'll try and do something. We'll do our best um, and, and get the stuff. But the main message is that we'll record the stuff and I'll edit it all when I get back uh, because it's, it's really down to the time. And I don't want to be sitting just editing in the evening when we're away in such a beautiful place. Sorry, I've done all the talking again. It's all right. My brain is frazzled. I was thinking more of Joe. I thought he had some extra bits. Oh too. no, he made his, he made himself heard. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, but yeah, we love it here, don't we? It's yeah, really nice. It's gorgeous. Unfortunately, we're only here for the one night, and we, then we move on. We're staying somewhere in the Brecon Beacon, so I've no idea. I, I mean, I remember booking it some while ago, but I can't remember now what it looks like. Right. Well, let's squealer carry on squealing. We'll go and get some food. Thanks for watching this video. We'll catch up with you as soon as we can. Have a good time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. Wave goodbye. Say goodbye. Say bye bye now. Bye bye now. Till next time. Bye. You'll have to imagine the graphics and the because I can't really do that so well. Maybe I could do it like this.